Today we will learn about what is centimeter and why it is used. Chanda was so happy after learning from Appu about measuring length of things. She started measuring the length of everything with a rope. One day, when Appu came to her house to eat, he saw that Chanda has made a pile of ropes in the corner of her house. And on every rope, something like the name of TV, table, spoon, etc. was written. Appu was shocked to see this. When he asked Chanda, she told him that she had measured the length of various objects in her house with the help of ropes. Appu laughed. He asked Chanda a question. Suppose if you are outside the house and you have to measure the length of something and if you don't have any rope, what would you do? Chanda thought for a while but had no answer to Appu's question. Appu then asked her another question. If you want to tell the length of an object to someone and that person is not in front of you, then tell me how will you tell him the length of the object? Chanda also had no answer to this question of Appu. Do you have answer? to these questions of Appu? No, no problem. Come, see what Appu is telling Chanda about these questions. Appu told Chanda that she can solve all these problems in a very easy way with the help of centimeters. Chanda could not understand anything. She immediately asked Appu, what is a centimeter? A centimeter is a unit of measuring length. We can measure the length of any object in centimeters. And centimeter is a unit that is always the same. Now Chanda told Appu that she understood about centimeters. But how can she use it? And how can she measure the length of objects? She still has not understood that. What did Appu answer to Chanda? And how can we use centimeters to measure the length of objects? We will see this in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learnt what is centimeters and why we use it. In the next video, we will learn about some interesting examples of how we can use centimeters. In the previous video, we learned about what is a centimeter and why we use it. In this video, we will learn about some interesting examples on use of centimeters. Do you remember kids? In the previous video, Appu told Chanda about centimeter. Come, let's see what he is telling Chanda about the use of centimeters. Appu took out a plastic strip like this from his bag and placed it on the table in front of Chanda. Chanda asks him, What is this plastic strip? And how can I use it to measure the length of objects in centimeters? Appu starts telling Chanda, this is a ruler. Can you see the numbers written and these lines drawn on it? 
the difference between any two consecutive numbers written on it is equal to 1 cm appu then asked chanda to collect some items from her house whose length she wanted to measure chanda immediately collected those items and brought them appu first picked up a spoon of chanda he placed the spoon next to the ruler in this way and said look your spoon is 12 cm long chanda could not understand how appu found this out appu said to her whenever you have to measure the length of any object you place it next to the ruler in this way and start measuring from 0 the number which is reaching the other end of your object the length of your object will be that centimeter chanda got really excited about the ruler she immediately took the ruler from appu and placed her tv remote next to the ruler chanda told appu Look Appu my TV remote is 10 cm long I learned to measure the length of objects from the ruler After saying this Chanda started dancing happily Kids here are some items of Chanda's house Can you tell how many centimeters their length is If you want You can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids. You have found the right answer. Chanda thanks Appu for telling her about the ruler and centimeter. And puts the pile of ropes in her house in a cupboard. Kids, in this video, we learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeters. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Kids, in the previous video. We learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeter. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this concept. Chanda became very happy after learning about the ruler from Appu. She measured her spoon again with a ruler. But uh, what is that? Chanda got the length of the spoon as 13 cm this time. Chanda started wondering how it happened. When Appu measured the length of that spoon, it was 12 cm. Then how did it become 13 cm today? Kids, can you tell what mistake Chanda has made here? Yes. This time when Chanda measured the length of the spoon, she started measuring the length by 1 instead of starting from 0. So, 1 cm in length of spoon was added. Keep in mind kids, whenever we are measuring the length of any object with a ruler, then we should always keep in mind that we start measuring the length by the zero number chanda realized her mistake and measured the spoon 
from number zero. And this time, she got the length of the spoon exactly 12 centimeters as before. Now, Chanda wants to get a skirt made for herself. Chanda is thinking, why not measure her waist using the ruler too? She immediately placed the ruler next to her waist in such a way and wrote on a paper that her waist measure is 5 centimeters. Kids, did Chanda measure her waist properly? Chanda has taken the wrong measurement of her waist. Kids, if we want to measure any curved object, we cannot measure it by placing it next to the ruler. Because we cannot measure its full length by doing so. Its curved portion and rear side measure are omitted. And the ruler can also break. Then, how do we do this? Suppose, we have to measure the waist of Chanda. So, we will first measure her waist with a rope. Then, we will put that rope next to the ruler. What is the measurement of this rope? It is the right size of the waist of Chanda. In this way, how many centimeters is the correct measurement of Chanda's waist? 20 centimeter. When Chanda reached out to babble uncle with her own measure, he also explained to Chanda about the mistake that she made. Chanda became very happy after learning this new thing. Now she measured her waist properly and got a beautiful skirt made from Uncle Babel. See how beautiful she looks in her new skirt? Kids, in this video, we learned about some common mistakes related to measurement of length in centimeters.